friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here. And today I am excited to share with you my tips on the best way to spring clean your fridge this 2023 spring cleaning season. So let's jump right in. So friends, before we jump right into the fridge, I want to share with you my beautifully organized the 52 weeks card deck. It launched in January, but if you have not gotten your copy, definitely grab your copy, especially right now during the spring cleaning season. This is such the perfect tool for helping you know where to start with your spring cleaning. It is a simple deck of cards, 52 cards, and you pick one card per week and that's the task that you or your family work on around your home on one side it tells you what room you're working on and then on the back it tells you what that specific task is for the week and you have all week to complete the task which means you have time to really do all of the steps necessary to make sure that you really complete the task beautifully so i will definitely put a link in the description box where you can get the cards they're everywhere books are sold i mean go amazon books a million barnes and nobles um, but i'll definitely put the link down below for you and i hope you will grab yours today so now let's jump into that fridge so friends it is so super important that you keep and maintain a well-organized fridge you know beyond the most important thing of not being stressed not costing you money and time it's really safe for your family you know that that the fridge is holding those things that you are feeding your family with so we want it to be a very cleanly and organized space and so I want to share with you my tips on how you can really hit the restart button on your fridge if you feel like it's out of control and even if you feel like you have a pretty much well made maintain fridge. I hope that you can learn some tips on how to clean and better organize maybe in a different way that might be more efficient for you. So the first step is to give yourself a boost of motivation when you start the process of organizing your fridge. And how I like to do that is just simply by just taking everything out, giving yourself an empty fridge so that you can rebuild it. And so you want to take everything out of the fridge. You want to sort it in categories and sorting it in categories is really important because it helps you with a few things. One, it helps you identify duplicates. It helps you identify kind of if you can um, combine food items. Maybe you have two ketchups in one bottle and maybe you can combine them in one. It also helps you easily identify what organizers you need for the different categories. And then lastly, one thing that it does for you is makes it very simple for you to easily just kind of get rid of that expired or over excessive items that you have in your fridge. So by completing this process, it really makes it easy for for you to get your fridge down to those items that are truly supposed to be in it. The next step, friends, is to give our fridge a nice good clean out. While it's empty, it's the perfect time. And you know, when it comes to keeping our fridge um, neatly and orderly, you do need to put it on a schedule. And I recommend weekly, you know, having a once a week, not that you necessarily take everything out, but that you do do a quick assessment, taking out any leftovers, giving it a quick wipe down, a simple maintenance that you can do after you wash the dishes. It is definitely something Something that you can split between the family members. If you're a family of four, one person per week just does a quick clean out of the fridge. That's only once per month that every family member has to do that. So, you know, find a system that works for you and your family for really just doing a quick fridge check weekly uh, on the fridge. Now, when it comes to cleaning your fridge, I want to share with you some products that I like to use when I'm cleaning my fridge. Um, one thing that I think is invaluable is an eraser, a magic eraser, because you know how a fridge is. You get those jelly stains or you get ketchup stains or things that can be um, tough, those tough things to just wipe up uh, with a Lysol wipe. And so I would recommend using that when you're trying to get those harsh um, things out of your fridge. Another thing that I love to use is the Mrs. Myers. I love the vinegar gel. I think that it's just such a great, great product to use when you want to clean and sanitize your fridge. And so that is kind of a staple that I use in my fridge. And the last thing that I love to use when cleaning my fridge is I love a Lysol wipe. I I think when it's time to just do those quick wipe downs during the week, taking a Lysol wipe and just kind of wiping the edges of the fridge, wiping down anything that has possibly spilled and just just a quick wipe down really can help um, with the maintenance of your fridge. Another thing for keeping your fridge really fresh and clean is having a air purifier in your fridge. They have so many different ones on the market, but I want to share with you mine. I have a rechargeable air purifier and I love it because it's just simple. It's rechargeable. It sits in the fridge. It's not 
distracting, but it really keeps my fridge fresh. And that is so important when you have all of those different meat and food items in your fridge. And so I will link in the description box below the link to mine's, but definitely check it out. I do recommend putting some type of air purifier in your fridge because that will really help with keeping it clean and fresh. So now that you know exactly what needs to go back in the fridge, let's talk about the arrangement, the organization of the fridge. And so if you think about your fridge in the same manner that you think about the grocery store, it really can be helpful in keeping those categories. Um, the one thing that I highly recommend that you don't do is just uh, kind of put things back in the fridge and not have a rhyme or reason to where things go. I know sometimes, you know, a lot of times when we get our fridge, they have these built-in compartments. This is where the veggie fridge is. This is where, you know, dairy goes. And so you can utilize those guys with your own style of fridge to help you figure out where things are going because that's where they are optimized as far as their temperature. And then you have all this other space that if you leave it open space, it can become that black hole, one of those black hole spaces in your house. You know, we have those spaces in our home that can become a black hole if we don't set the organization. And a fridge is totally one of those spaces. And so although I say I like to categorize each space in the fridge, I don't like to too much labeling in a fridge. Because we eat differently every week, I like having the versatility in kind of what types of items I put in places. For example, if I label um, a bin for strawberries, but I don't eat strawberries every week and it just help, it just kind of makes your fridge not function well. So I don't like to put too many um, locked in categories. I like to have more general categories like veggies or fruits or dairy. So I say all that to say when you are labeling your fridge or when you're categorizing your fridge rather, be sure to keep those categories open. You know, don't be so specific with the food items because that's going to really keep it functioning well for you. Another thing when you categorize your fridge, categorize it according to your family and how you all eat. And with that, I like to say, you know, with my fridge here, I only want to keep things that I have assessed that Mike and I really eat. A lot of times when you think about your fridge and if you go right now and you look in your fridge, can you pull out the things that, you know what, I bought this, but we don't really eat this. Or every time I buy this, it spoils. If you find that week after week, you're buying a certain food item, but it's never getting eaten or it's spoiling before you can get to it, it is one that I would mark off of my grocery list because it is not one that is resonating with your family. And that can really help you with maintaining your fridge. So when I look at the fridge, that I have really curated for Mike and I now in the, in the grocery shopping list that I have for us, it really functions well for how we work. You know, we're Mike's gone most of the day. I'm busy all of the time. And so um, we really need to have just our dinner prep items, which that's why I have my drawer here that I keep all of our dinner meats for the weekend so I can easily go here and grab. We definitely have to have a leftovers drawer because that's where, um, and I encourage everyone, if you have leftovers, to have a drawer that you identify for leftovers and make it, it makes it really really simple when it's time to clean out all of the leftovers when they, you know, when they are old. Then also, I know that we are ones that we like to just come and grab a quick bite. So it's a quick snack, a quick something to just kind of get rid of that hunger. And so I set it up so that we have those quick grabs, you know, we have cheese and ham rolls or, you know, we have um, fruit or something that we can just go in the fridge, grab and it's ready to go. Another thing that Mike and I are really big on, are we like our sandwiches. And so I like keeping a sandwich um, section here so that we can easily just grab the sandwiches. I also have it in a way so that I can easily see when we get low on the sandwich um, meat and things like that. You know, another thing for us is our beverages. And so I like to be sure to have beverages on hand. We do have a separate beverage fridge that we keep most of our bottled water and all of those in, but just kind of our larger scale um, juices and things I'll keep in the fridge along with I drink coffee. So I have a variety of coffee creamers that I like. And one thing that I find that is a huge space saver in your fridge is when you're organizing each section is to try to stay away from so much packaging. The packaging in the grocery store, and I know a lot of times we will go on Pinterest or TikTok and we'll see these beautifully curated fridge where they put the fruit in here. And sometimes they get a, uh, they, they get a hard time from the viewer because they're like, you know, that's just for beauty and that just takes too much time. But the reality is it's 
for function also. It is absolutely beautiful, yes, but the function is there. Because when you just put things that are packaged for you from the um, grocery store and from the brands in your fridge, they're all different sizes. They're all going to just take up more space and they're not gonna fit like a puzzle. But when you have set systems, you have set containers to put your milk in, you have set containers to put your sandwich meat in, you're locking in that fit. And so from week to week to week, you don't have to try to figure out this maze of where I'm gonna put things in the fridge because I have all this grocery store packaging. You're taking your stuff out of the packaging and you're putting it into the organizer that's already there. The system is already set. And so by really setting that system, it really saves you a lot of frustration of trying to fit a lot of items. And it also helps you stay focused on what your family truly eats. Because when I open my fridge, I know what we eat and what I typically need to refill. I'm not having to figure it out because I have all this different stuff that's just kind of consuming my eye. So I hope that makes sense. So you really want to um, just set your organization. And friends, my last tip is about beautifying your fridge. And of course, that is an important part of the organizing process and why it is especially important in our fridge because it can really encourage our family to eat well, right? Because if they open that fridge and you have the food displayed in a way that it encourages them to grab that apple because it's in a beautiful white bowl and it's easiest thing to grab in the fridge or you know you want them to uh, eat more vegetables you may have some carrots that are really easily accessible and so it's about really not only making it accessible it's about making it really look desirable right and you can do that by that white bowl or by having clear containers so that they can easily see what is there. So that is one thing that I encourage you to do once you categorize and organize your fridge is really find ways to make it absolutely a beautiful space that you are encouraged to go into and you and your family are encouraged to keep clean. So I hope that the tips I've shared with you have been helpful. If not anything, I hope that this video inspires you to put cleaning out and organizing that fridge for spring on the top of your list and go back and play this video as you're decluttering the fridge. That's always a great motivation and inspiration when you listen to books or content that is about whatever it is that you are doing while you're doing it. So before I go, friends, I do want to say, remind you to grab your beautifully organized the 52 weeks card deck if you have not gotten it. It's such, such a helpful tool to use with getting your home in order. And again, that link is in the description box below. And I also wanted to remind all of my inspiring professional organizers, if you love Love the art of organizing in your own home and you want to turn it into a business for yourself or a side hustle, I have a course that helps you do just that. It's an all-inclusive course, very budget friendly, that will help you from how to start your business, market your business, work with clients, and put together your, your toolkit and all of the things needed to be a professional organizer. Because there is actually a difference between organizing for yourself and organizing for someone else. Definitely, I will put the link in the description box if you're interested in that and friends please if you have not subscribed to the at home with Nikki family I am just waiting on you to click that subscribe button and be a part of our family we call ourselves the friend girls and the friend gents over here and also if you enjoyed this video and this type of content be sure to click that like button to let me know that this was something that you definitely were interested in friends have a beautiful rest of your day I will see you soon and this is Nikki saying goodbye